Yep, so here we are in our project and uh, I've taken some videos for for the sample stuff. So first you need of course to create the comp. Then what we've got here is a pretty tricky tricky shot to track because we've got uh, we've got the exhaust which is pretty big and uh, if you want to make it in the dead center and we really do want to do that then uh, we have to track it and uh, when we go to the tracker panel like here window tracker click on stabilize motion then when we select a point that we want to track we actually don't have a proper contrasting point we either need to track the, the whole whole exhaust which may not work as well uh, and will take like lots and lots of time and uh, probably it will still drift away or oh, what i'm actually doing is first of all i go to effects panel no effects and presets effects panel search for mocha apply it to the footage go inside mocha and find the point where i want to make the layer and create sorry if there is some glitchy stuff i will reopen it and save sometimes uh, the cursor just starts glitching it's, it started happening only in 2025 version yeah so what we need we need to find the place where we see the exhaust the best we can and draw a layer outside of exhaust so press on perspective and track that one U usually it does a really great job of tracking and uh, we'll also find out that how we can use it uh, after to stabilize motion just wait for the tracker to end our tracking there is some just slight distortion because we have that uh, thing interrupting us but that shouldn't play much of a role Check everything from start to end. Just wait a bit to Mocha, for Mocha to do its great job. As you see, the track is pretty accurate for what we are wanting to achieve. We will see a bit later, but it's fully okay. We could also check only the outline of the exhaust, which would which would give us a bit better result but actually it's it's already kind of good so what we need to do now is to create like a really small layer with a shape with a um, ellipse tool call it tracking layer and uh, we need it we need to link it to our first tracked layer so that 
uh, that uh, small shape is taking the tracking data from the first layer and it's fully linked. So now we see that our shape is right in the dead center of our exhaust. Yeah, the way we want it. Yeah, absolutely. We go, we save, go to mat, and in visible layers we make sure that we have only our tracking layer enabled. Press on create masks and you will see that it created a very 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 small mask for us. Precomp the footage, let's call it exhaust for mocha. Here is our comp. Now we go to tracker. Press on stabilize motion. Now let's change the background color so we can find our spot better. And just set the layer so it fits inside. So this is really helpful when you don't have uh, contrasting pixels on your footage. And just yeah, make sure that you go to options and uh, stop tracking, press stop tracking if confidence is below 90. And just go ahead with, proceed with your tracking. It works 99% of the times. 99% works perfectly fine for me. Yeah, let's make sure that we that the tracker is doing its job nicely. But actually, when it's tracking like that contrasting point, then it usually never fa fails. See, so it's pretty easy for for it to do its job. Pretty pretty easy. Yeah. So just continue tracking till it's over. You can just adjust a bit. No, not much problem with that. Just keep on tracking. And as the dot is really small, then really that small drift won't be visible at all. Click apply. Go to that composition and delete the mask. Now we have a perfectly stabilized footage, the one we wanted to do. Yeah, like perfectly stabilized, with quite a bad scenario actually, so yeah. You just, then you can do a, then you can, of course, Go once again to uh, to effects and uh, go to repertile, CC repertile and uh, add, go to unfold mode and just fill up the edges the way I want. And also click title action save zone and just put it right in the dead center. So that it doesn't drift away at all, it's just fully locked on in the center of our exhaust pipe. Yep, so hope that that short tutorial was helpful. And uh, really I apply that technique very often. <coughs> Usually it saves a lot of time. Because you don't need to manually adjust the tracker. Yep guys, see you around.